Good morning, Neighborhood Church. My name is Jordan, and this is Read Scripture. As we head into another weekend, I wanted to share some encouragement from Paul. He was a first century Christian leader whose letters to the church fill up a good chunk of our New Testament. These letters were often filled with theology, wisdom, practical advice, encouragement, challenges, and more. Today, I'd like to read to you from his letter to the ancient Christians living in a town called Colossae. It's what we now call the Book of Colossians, and we're going to read what Paul had to say in chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. You know, I'm from Seattle, and a lot of my friends in the neighborhood have told me I dress like a hipster. Maybe it's the beard, the flannel shirts, the skinny jeans. Whatever it is, it would seem my clothes say something about who I am as a person. And while yesterday we discussed how appearances can be deceiving, I think there's truth to the fact that we all kind of pick a style, a sense of fashion that says something about us to the world. My beard and glasses show that, okay, I might be a bit of a hipster. Someone who's always wearing active wear could possibly be athletic or maybe passionate about fitness. My grandpa has been wearing the same pair of white sneakers for the past three decades, which might confirm that yes, he is in fact an old man. Hippies wear long flowing dresses and hip sweaters. Business people and politicians wear suits, cowboy hats, yoga pants, Air Jordans, mom jeans. They all say something. Some people dress conservatively. Some people dress wild and crazy. Everyone, to a certain extent, uses fashion to express who they are. Now, you might be wondering, what does this have to do with our scripture today? Well, in the same way we use fashion to express who we are, Paul is saying that there are certain qualities we can dress ourselves with that communicate we are God's people. What are these qualities? Well, let's take a look again, one by one. There's compassion the concern and love for people other than ourselves. Compassion drives us to encourage each other, pray for one another, and most importantly, to take care of each other's needs. Then there's kindness, treating others with respect and honor in every situation. After that, there's humility. Rather than being self-absorbed, we're realistic about our own limitations, strengths, and weaknesses. We put others before ourselves. We collaborate in community rather than just force our own agenda. That's humility. Then there's gentleness, which is being mindful of other people's emotions and well-being. Finally, there's patience. We know a God who lovingly gives us more grace and patience than we could ever understand. And he wants us to reflect that grace to others. Paul says when we clothe ourselves in these qualities, our community will see that we are God's people. How we live our lives gives them an impression of who God is. This weekend and beyond, let's make sure we're giving our friends and neighbors a good impression of God, an accurate impression of God. Let's clothe ourselves in the good qualities Jesus has modeled for us so our friends and neighbors can come to know him in the same way that we do.